Imagine setting off on a six month through hike through some of the most remote and stunning landscapes in the US, alone. But what if I told you that my solo through hike on the Pacific Crest Trail didn't turn out the way I expected? In fact, it changed my life in ways I could have never imagined. The PCT stretches over 2,650 miles, starting at California's southern border with Mexico and continuing north through Oregon and Washington before reaching the Canadian border. When I hiked the PCT in 2023, most hikers started alone. According to the Halfway Anywhere survey, 70% of hikers began their through hikes solo. Some plan to meet friends along trail, while others seek solitude. Solo hiking raises big questions. Is it safe? Do you get lonely? What about wildlife encounters? You're probably watching this video because you're considering hiking the PCT solo. And I'm glad you're here, because today, I want to share my solo PCT through hike experience and why it didn't turn out as expected. Stick around until the end to learn how one specific event on the PCT changed my life forever. As soon as I began my through hike, I quickly realized that the PCT wasn't going to be what I expected. There was a whole community of hikers with the same crazy idea to leave their lives behind for six months and hike north to Canada. Within the first few days, I began meeting hikers. Soon enough, I was no longer hiking alone. The trail was alive with stories, laughter, and the shared excitement of this adventure. Friendships formed quickly and naturally over shared challenges and triumphs. If it wasn't for the connections and friends I made within the first few weeks on trail, I can tell you right now that I wouldn't have successfully reached Canada. Instead of solo hiking as I planned, I found myself hiking with an amazing group, and we became a family on trail. A trail family or Tramley, is a group of hikers that look out for one another. This happens naturally on trail. You meet someone at a water source, chat, then go your separate ways. You may see each other again at camp, and a few days later in town. Eventually, you start hiking together, meet others, and that's how a trail family is formed. Tramleys can consist of three to five people, but some can even be as large as 10 or even more. The security that comes with having these friends quickly forms a family-like bond. Hikers often planned around their new family's wants and needs. It had never felt so easy to connect and build friendships like it was on the PCT. There was this unspoken bond that brought through hikers together, the mission to hike to Canada. The shared laughter and support I experienced with my trail family in the early days of my through hike was something I'd never expected from my PCT adventure. At the beginning, I struggled to accept the social aspect of the PCT. I had mentally prepared to hike solo and had set an expectation of solitude. It was difficult to let go of this expectation and embrace support and adventures that a trail family offers. I had to create space for a new opportunity, a new reality that I hadn't anticipated. And that's a great lesson in life. Sometimes things don't go as planned. Allow yourself to stay open to new experiences and opportunities, and you never know how life will surprise you. Having set expectations can sometimes close doors on opportunities. While it's good to have an idea of what to expect so you're prepared, it's also important to stay open-minded and flexible to enjoy and embrace the adventures life throws your way. Being part of a trail family has tons of benefits. For me, the biggest benefit was the morale booster and support through tough sections. We supported each other through uncertainty, fatigue, hunger, bad weather, and fear that otherwise might take you off trail. We helped each other navigate dangerous river crossings and steep snowy slopes. Each member brought unique skills and knowledge. I learned to properly use my water filter and pack my gear efficiently thanks to tips from the trail family. This support system gave me a sense of belonging that I hadn't realized I was craving. Each big milestone was worthy of celebration. 100 miles, 300 miles, 500 miles. And each milestone we reached together felt even more significant because we had a family to share this with. <laughs> One thing I didn't expect was that I would have multiple trailers on trail. As I hiked further, I found myself connecting with different groups at various stages. Each new group brought fresh hiking styles, perspectives, support, and friendship, making every section of trail a new experience. When you hike with your family members, the miles often fly by. 
to share jokes and laughs and entertaining stories that happen along the way. If the depth of a friendship can be measured in time, just a few days on trail together can equal years worth of hour-long coffee dates with friends in the real world. Of course, being part of a trail family isn't always smooth sailing. There are challenges, like coordinating different hiking paces and dealing with occasional disagreements. Sticking with a trail family means making compromises and sometimes not hiking your own hike. You may find yourself hiking bigger miles than planned, or not taking as many breaks as you'd like to keep up with the group. While there are many benefits to hiking with a trail family, it's important to remember your why for your through hike and make sure you're hiking your own hike. Don't get too caught up in group dynamics and lose sight of the personal goals you set out to achieve. You don't want to have any regrets after hiking the PCT. Be prepared that when the time comes, you may need to decide to go your separate ways with your trail family, and that's okay. But the most unexpected part of my PCT experience wasn't my epic eight-person tramley in the first six weeks, or the incredible group I hiked with later, or even the hilarious and energetic trail family I met after that. I was meeting someone that became the only family I needed on trail. I never imagined that I would fall in love on the PCT, but that's exactly what happened. I met Artifact near mile 300, and what started as casual conversations and shared hikes soon turned into something much deeper. We helped each other through the toughest parts of trail. What time is it? Sometime before the sun comes up. <laughs> Every day felt like a new adventure, just the two of us in the mountains. We forged mushrooms together and snacked on huckleberries. Whether it was watching the sunset together after a long day of hiking, or cooking instant potatoes at camp, every moment felt magical. We laughed a lot, shared our dreams, and planned future adventures together. Falling in love on the PCT wasn't something I expected, but it became one of the most beautiful parts of my journey. It taught me that sometimes, the best things in life happen when you least expect them. In the end, my solo hike on the PCT wasn't what I expected. It was so much more. The friendships I formed, the support system I gained, and the shared experiences made the journey unforgettable. And meeting Artifact added an unexpected, beautiful twist to my adventure. If you're planning to hike the PCT, be open to the unexpected and embrace the people you meet along the way. These connections might just be the highlight of your adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more hiking and adventure tips. Have you had any unexpected experiences on your hikes? Share your stories in the comments below. Stay wild and free, and see you on trail.